So my friends, I welcome you back to another Come episode of Mother's Gate 1. So in the previous episode, we explored the library to find the prophecies. I think I did find them, so I'm gonna read them in a second. In, a, in this episode, we will try to find uh, the two leaders of the Iron Throne, Bruno and... Ah, I forgot his name. Anyways, we will try to find them. And for the cookie coins, I will try in this episode to confront and beat at least one of these leading characters uh, for 50 cookie coins. I don't think I can do that with both of them, since our episodes are so extremely short nowadays, but at least one of them. And then I will have gained 50 cookie coins. Now, I was actually looking for books with the prophecies and I couldn't find them anywhere and then I cheated a little bit and I checked online and it's supposed to be scrolls so we have two scrolls here I think both of them are related to the prophecy to be honest uh, I need to do this uh, let's see if this is the first one during the days of the avatars the lord of murder will spawn a score of mortal progen progeny this offspring will be aligned good and evil, but chaos will flow through the all. When the beast's bastard children comes of age, they will bring havoc to the land of the Sword Coast. One of these children will rise above the rest and claim their father's legacy. This inheritor will shape the history of the Sword Coast for centuries to come. And then we have this one. This. The bloodshed and misery. It is the hope of their father that only one should remain alive to inherit his legacy. I foresee that the children of Baal shall kill each of, uh, shall kill each other in a bloody massacre. So based on this, and based on what people have been talking about us before, like us being evil and us having some negative, I can throw this away now, uh, negative blood in us, I think we're actually the child of Baal. It shall be as you wish. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. Pentalis. Hello, Hector. It's good to see you here once again. A pity you could not have returned during more restful times. Why? What's going on? Um, that would cause you such stress. You always were a warrior. I'm sure all is well. What business is it of yours? Let's take number one. Oh, it's nothing, I'm sure. It's just that, well... Things just seem a little strange around here. These um, decidedly unmerchant-like merchants, for one. Um, and one of our own monks are acting odd as well. One fellow in particular. I'm sure it's nothing. You should not worry yourself um, so much. Really? And who would that be? Let's take number two. Well, there is this fellow named um, Ancovaras. I assume he is a visiting sage of some sort, but he seems most uh, interested in our guest. More interested in our guest than the tomes. Give me a second, I need to drink some water. I've had such issues being dry in my mouth today. <coughs> I hope it won't affect it too much. Um, he makes me nervous. I think he's had the same effect on others as well. Young Sichal has been out uh, of sorts for days now. He is not as uh, thick-skinned as I. You remember how nervous he used to be. 
He's quite the opposite now. Seems like a totally different person. I worry about him. I should go. It has been nice speaking to you. Hmm. That's worrisome. Return to Candle Keep. My old friend Belias uh, has noticed something particular about recent visitors to Candle Keep. In particular, he noticed unmerchant like merchants and a sage named uh, Kovras who arrived uh, at about the same time. At about the same time, yeah. You have but to so we have three people to confront now. Nothing here. We have someone to talk to out here. The Lord of Murder shall pass. Oh, he's coming here. But in his doom he shall spawn a score of mortal progeny. Chaos will be sown from their passage. So saith the wise Alondo. Hector, you look distressed. What is it, child? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm just finding it very hot in here. There is trouble here, Chanter. Um, you must help me. Let's take number two. You are right. I have felt it too. Pray tell me how this um, aging frame can help you. Okay, <laughs> how this aging frame can help you. Talking about himself. He's old. Um, I must know who has visited the keep lately and where they have spent their time. As Chanter, you know the history of this keep better than the others. I have grown up here. I have played within the walls. But there were many places I was never allowed to go. I am older now and I will go where I must, uh, where I must, but please. Are there any places in this keep uh, of which I was never told? Uh, I guess let's take the first one, because they are the one, ones we are hunt hunting. Um, there have been a few nameless um, scullery maids, some new watchers. As for visitors to the library, though, two men from the Iron Throne arrived. Uh, um, what was it? Two days ago? Three? They're here for a meeting with two knights of the shield, who believe, uh, I believe, made their arrival yesterday. Much of their time has been sp spent on the third floor arranging pre preliminaries of the meeting. A man named Kovras has arrived as well, but he's mainly kept to himself, researching some of um, Alando's prophecies regarding the time of troubles, which we keep on the second floor. Other than that, well, there's only been you. Okay, so Cobras should be somewhere on the second floor. Reader. Who might you be? Watcher. You need something, stranger? Who might you be? Oh, cover us! Oh shit, I should actually have saved. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be fighting in here, to be honest, we'll see. Um, ah, I thought I might find you somewhere around here. Allow me to introduce myself. Perhaps another time. Time is some... There is some research I am currently working on, uh, which demands my attention. Please do, number two. My name is Kovaras. I used to work for your father, running messages uh, to his um, Harper friends in Waterdeep. Before he passed on, he entrusted this ring to me and asked that I give it to you should evil ever befall him. Will you take it? 
well, he will befell him, all right. Uh, but I want nothing of your baubles. And what evil befell him, Koberas? Uh, if he, if it is my father's will, then I shall wear it. Thank you for your kindness uh, to him, Koberas. Let's take number two for starters. You were there. You saw it all. A woman, an armored figure, two ogres, wielded clubs, and two archers. But Gorgon's um, petty magic was of little use against them, was it not? And you, you fell with your tail, bet fled with your tail between your legs, hiding amid the trees until dawn broke. And now, it comes full circle, doesn't it? The Iron Throne, so close that you can almost touch them and wreck your revenge for that night. You know me well, Cobras. My father and my father too. Give me the ring and let me find my vengeance. You're right, Cobras. Uh, I was there myself. My father and six others who tried to kill us. Where were you, if you know so much? Let's take number two. If you be so void of trust, I am surprised you have made it this far. Um. Oh shit, I should have saved. It is of little matter. Go seek your vengeance or your doom at the hands of the Iron Throne. I wash my hands of it. Yeah. Shit. Okay, let's do like this. Um... Let's quickly redo. How may I be of assistance? It shall be as you wish. Our library is a man's harem of knowledge. We don't need to explore this anymore. We can just go up and talk to him there. Um. Let's take a quick save. No. I shall attend to it in a trice. You need something stranger. You need something stranger. Um, please do. And let's take this straight away. Wear it with your father's pride about you then. Before you go, listen to me well. The leader of the Iron Throne uh, are here within the keep even as we speak. They are at their weakest and most unprotected. If you ever hope to kill them, now is the time. Now go, the Iron Throne awaits you. Sweet. Okay. And let's take it. No. I'm not gonna go through all of the bookshelves now. I will take that later on when outside of recording. I don't think it's anymore on this floor to check so let's continue up you have but to ask you have but to ask who might you be no stop don't walk away from me priest Trailter. Ooh. My dear ma'am, you must realize that it's the matter that makes the gentlewoman. That it matters that makes the... What? Wait. My dear ma'am, you must realize that it is manners that... <laughs> okay, manners that makes the gentlewoman. Uh, so, would you kindly um, prove that you are one by leaving him. The right people can afford to be rude, but it is not you. Now leave before my uh, 
irate companion, Brunos, lets his temper go ahead of his reason. Um, fine, we'll be on our way. Wait, he's talking to us? Mm, okay. You're the leaders of the Iron Throne. We're, we're the ones who've been causing you so much trouble over the past weeks. We must... Uh, we know what, you all, what you're all about, and soon, so will Duke Elton. You're the bastards behind the troubles that were... To, that... Mm, from... Ah, from <laughs> oh, what's wrong with my reading? You are the bastards behind all of the troubles from he, uh, here to Baldur's Gate. Thank you. Now that we have you where you where we want you, don't think that we're get that we're going to let you live. Mm. Let's take number two. That feels like a longer conversation. Yoda, and you're stupid enough to admit this. Well, my young friend, you may find uh, safety within the library, but once you've left, will be no place for you to run. How about we just end all of our problems right here and now, draw steel, and let's sort everything out with the sharp, with the sharp of our blades. Kovras told us. Uh, you were all but undefeated here at the keep. Undefended here at the keep. We will kill you and probably get away with it. Wait a second. Sorry about that. I have to sneeze. Okay. We leave. Um, but don't think this is the last of it. It won't be. Not by a long shot. So we only have... We only have the options to fight them. I was hoping to get some information from them, but that doesn't seem to be the case. This is most distasteful. I have always known that rudeness is how the weak uh, make themselves look strong. Even if you were um, to somehow beat us in battle, you would. Uh, how would you escape the keep? Or did you think that the monks would let you go about murdering everyone in their keep? Crush them, uh, muttonheads, boys! Nice. So, uh, 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 oh, we don't have the meteor thing. Bummer. Can we try this? Yeah, that didn't go so well. I really, I really need to get rid of that particular. Spell. How may I be of assistance? You should actually stay away. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. Let's collect everyone together. Let's take a quick save up here. Let's take number two this time. See what they say. Oh, it's the same. Okay. Okay, then let's just continue where we are. So, everyone on him, Welcome. you can take... Mm, 
stick this one on you. Actually, you guys. Yes? Can go on him. Starting to act up again. I hate these computers so much. And she. Nature servant awaits. Stands in the middle of everyone, so you can move out a bit. For the group. All of you guys can go on. Nice. Attack there. 510. Nice. And let's see. You can take now this one. And you yes, can actually start to attack. Yeah, you should be fine. One left. Nice. And now just everyone. Bash his head in. Sweet. Ah, oh, he's confused. So now what? It shall be as you wish. I have no idea what we're supposed to do now. So I will finish the episode. We're up to basically ah the top one we can skip. Um our our maximum limit now anyways to 23 minutes uh, so i will stop the episode and then in the next episode we will try to figure out what it is that we need to do now most likely talk to some of the monks we'll see um we're up to 1200 cookie coins i'm very happy about that i managed to do what i set out to do now my friends i thank you so much for watching Stay safe, take care, and as always, I see you next time.